Hey guys, this is Dash bashing into you with this new video. Um, ano ba to? This is uh the letter again. Um, in part two. Here I go. I'll go and. But that's nothing compared to the feeling of the hope, the sight of the exit. Of hope, the sight of the exit gives me. Racing downstairs, a brilliant laugh escapes me and. <laughs> My shoe slips and I find myself falling. Oh my god, she slipped. My shoe slips and I find myself falling. Oh my god, until my back hits the ground and pain rocks my body. Oh my god. She's still here. My head grows fuzzy and my vision dims as I fight to stay conscious. No. Go away. The last thing I see are those feet before all I know is darkness. Oh, what the hell just happened? <laughs> A buzz breaks the silence. Okay, I'll just save this first. <coughs> I start to rose, pulled into consciousness against my own will. I have never felt this tired before. Okay. I just want to sleep, but insistent buzzing and poking and prodding isn't letting me. Maybe this... What's the girl's name? Like, Again, I forgot. My old mattress may not be the comfiest of places, but that does, doesn't make me any more eager to wake up. Isabella! Okay. Five more minutes, Becca. I swat away at what is nudging persi persistently at my side. Can't I just get a few extra minutes of sleep today? I promise I'll work hard once I'm up. A hand lightly taps my cheek and something cold is suddenly being pressed at the back of my head. The icy sensation slows, slowly spreads throughout the area, giving me an uncomfortable, an uncomfortable feeling. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. The fog of consciousness immediately lifts from my mind the moment I recognize the voice and my eyes snap open. Okay. They're looking at me. Down at me is Rose. Okay. Another woman loiters beside her, but my attention is too focused on my co-agent to even ask why there's someone else with her. Rosa's posture just screams worry, although she is giving a straight face, or trying at least. I can't help but feel bad for making her fret. Okay. A wave of dizziness washes over me as soon as I try to get up, forcing me to lie back down again. Luckily, it subsides after a few seconds, until only a mild throbbing somewhere at the back of my head remains. With little assistance from Rose, I push myself upright. <coughs> she hands me an ice pack, gestures for, gestures for me to press it where I suspect a small bump has already formed if the light ache in the area is any indication. Alright, Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? <laughs> my head. Oh and my the date God. today? October 21st? Last one. Can you count to 15 and reverse? 15, 14... 13, 12 teen, no, that's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking to see if your injury is in any way serious. Oh, what the hell is this girl? That voice is so good though. This time, I curiously regard the woman standing beside Rose. It's impossible to overlook her with what with the way she towers over us. Okay, I think she's real tall. And here I thought Rose is already tall. <coughs> Who is she anyway? One of the remaining cleaning crews? But with how primly dressed she is, I don't think anyone will want to clean in a suit. An expensive suit at that, the gloves alone must have already cost a fortune. Her eyes slowly shift between me and Rose, considering us with an almost unreadable expression, before finally fix a, fixing a sharp gaze on me. I can't help but fold my arms protectively over myself as she does so. She may be far from a cleaning crew, but she certainly looks like my supervisor during evaluation Just days. Just do it, please. I eye them both warily, but recite everything as she asks. Rose releases a breath of relief once I'm gone. <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about <coughs> to call for an ambulance when you started stirring. Are you alright? That's white? a really good accent. I like it. Okay. The memory's a little fuzzy, but the attic and... There, there was someone, Rose. In the attic. Someone? You mean a client? Oh, that's unlikely. It's probably just one of the cleaning crews. Oh, you don't even know, Rose. The boss sent a few of them back this morning for some last minute. No, not any of those. They're... Ugh. I'm not actually sure. Wait, didn't I call you? 
You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. Both Rose and the lady look at me like I've just grown another head. Did I say something weird? Okay. Rose casts an apologetic smile at the woman beside her before the awkward s silence stretches on further. It's her saleswoman's smile, the same one she taught me back when I was still her trainee. I should show this to troublesome clients or just avoid trouble in general, she advised. It's also the one she gives me when I've done something particularly absurd that may cause us to lose a potential sale. Her eyes are serious when she turns back to me. She takes both of my shoulders, gently squeezes it, and with as much patience as she can master. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Okay, I'll save. Sorry. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. <coughs> Are you really alright? What happened? Yes. I, I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And... and there's... whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh. Oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open! We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose! Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. <laughs> I can work. Wait, wait. Hold your horses, Rose. Horses, Rose. I can't just miss an important seal because of a minor bump in the head. An extremely minor bump. Okay. I've had worse when I was a kid. This is nothing. Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder <coughs> everything in the open house. Alone. And in a mansion this big? Well, there's also the part where I may lose that bonus BRC. What's a BRC? Promise, but that's completely besides, beside the point. Rose gives me a skeptical look when I return the cold compress to her and push myself off the floor. I had to use the staircase railings to steady myself, but otherwise, I feel fine. See? I'm A-OK! -okay. The two of them exchange a worried glance and Rose assumes a contemplative look. I bite my lower lip in attempt anticipation if she says no. Alright, you in. A smile threatens to slip out from me. If I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Yes. Clear as day, ma'am! You insisted. But remember what I said, first sign of you looking not okay and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury <coughs> for all we know. Yeah, it <clears throat> could be. Suddenly, a small cough sounds against the walls of the foyer, interrupting our banter. The woman is looking expectantly at the two of us, her stare making me shrink back a little on myself. She isn't really intimidating. Okay. Well, she is. Okay. But not in the scary negative way. Far from it, actually, her demean demeanor simply commands an air of sophistication and respect. In a different world, a younger me would have probably wished to be like her. <clears throat> she coughs again, lifting a well-trimmed eyebrow at me in question. Words get caught in my tongue, tongue, and Rose, as usual, is swift to catch my own blunders. My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Miss. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch. McCulloch! What the hell is a McCulloch? That's what the hell? Oh, interior designer. Okay, she hands her rose her business card. The words "interior designer" catch my eyes before my par partner flips it over. Oh, probably someone interested in the mansion for its 17th century influences. Then I won't hold it against her, though. Despite the hearsays and remaining un uninhabited for years, the mansion's original fittings and furniture have been kept completely intact and restored to pristine condition. I suppose some people find that trip to the past feeling appealing. After all, we'll. <coughs> ah, I'm reading too much. After all, with what it offers, this place is definite haven for people looking to live somewhere with a classic historical charm. Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. Partner, that's really We're just good. Just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. In the meantime, ah. I've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could please. Rose's accent is actually really good. Thanks. There's no need for it though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
The confused look on Rose's face is impossible to miss when she glances at me. I return it with an equally perplexed look, and against my better judgment, I blurt out the first question that comes to I'm mind. I'm sorry. Homeowners? I should have kept my mouth shut. A flash of irritation crosses her face, but it instantly disappears under a mask of professional, professional detachment. Yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... She pauses, possibly trying to find the right words to fix the awkward situation without offending someone. Those few moments have given me enough time to clear my head of any nervousness or confusion clouding it. It is, ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? I almost flinch when she turns her gaze on me, but I stand my ground. Besides, it isn't like I haven't dealt with awkward situations like this before. I may screw up at times, but that doesn't mean I haven't learned a thing or two in the five years I've worked in the business. Oh! The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today is <coughs> the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. I if you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. Oh, she nods, seemingly in deep thought after I've finished. Okay. She appears to be a reasonable person anyway, given the proper explanations she'll likely understand. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. <sighs> Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos. Miss Santos! Oh! With a slight wave of her hand, she leads us presumably to double check with someone on her side. That seems to be the end of it. Both Rose and I bre breathe a sigh of relief. Disaster averted! I also don't miss the thumbs up she gives me for doing a good job, and I can't help but swell with pride. Ha! <laughs> I'm so good. Still, I've already prepared myself to dial the number to our Luxborn office and check even if she didn't ask for it. I will be very frustrated if, for some reason, an agreement has already been decided without my or Rose's knowledge. That's a whole new level of unfair. We've been working hard on this. <laughs> ah, I'm trying a British accent, but I can't pull it off. Moments later, Miss McCallow returns looking a little frustrated, but an apology clear in her face. I feel a little sorry for having her to go through all this trouble. There seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. <coughs> I might as well meet him here. Okay, we'll do. Certainly. You could stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And okay. Isabella, I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? Why do I need to get it for you? Rose takes a glance at her wristwatch before tossing me a set of keys. And hurry! we still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Give me a few minutes. Ah, I'm very little bitch now. Okay, I'll just go and get it. The two of them disappear behind the parlor store. Their departure brings with it a hushed stillness to keep me company. Neither comforting nor soothing. This alone, it is impossible not to think of what truly happened earlier. I wish the memory isn't as elusive as it normally is. Then again, Rose already said she didn't receive any call from me. That's really weird. Was it just my paranoia at work? A temporary lapse in my own mind after having heard all those tales about this place? Probably. Maybe, maybe. I want to think of it as such. Better to think of it as such so I can work in peace. Yeah. Except a small part of my mind begs to differ, and if I'm going to be completely honest with myself, I want nothing more than to leave this place as soon as possible. I don't know what's in this house and I don't want to know. <laughs> me too though. The keys Rose have just handed me dig into my palm, its jagged edges scraping shallow, for just on my skin for how I hard I'm, I am clutching it. It's a cursory reminder of what I still need to do and why I've taken this job in the first place. Yeah, hugging my blazer closer to my body, I exit the house to get what Rose has asked for me. Off me, sorry. Just a few more hours, Isabella. Sell the house, get the money, and we'll be out. Oh my god, what just happened? What the hell was that? A flock of people have already gathered in the mansion's front yard by the time we officially opened the doors. I'm not sure whether I should feel baff ba baffled or undressed standing in their presence. 
Men and women of wealth and status all dressed to the nines in fancy suits and lovely dresses of varying colors composed the meeting. <gasps> Their necks, arms, and fingers are adorned with silver and gold, glinting in the afternoon sun. Some even have ridic ridiculously fancy feathered hats on their heads. I really hope there aren't any magpie magpies living nearby like in the stories. Those birds will have a field day in this. They are murmuring among themselves to get the estate's facade, appraisingly with some arguing about this mansion as the superior, superior architecture. But most of it stops as Rose calls for their attention. They don't look too pleased at being ordered around. What that can do? What can they do about it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Okay. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Mm hmm. Hearing this, a few wander towards me. They are most. Mostly all day, this was him daunted at the idea of climbing all those stairs. Okay. Miss Macalo also joins our group, but what really catches my eye is the elegantly dressed pair she approaches. It's so nice to finally meet you! When Chief <coughs> Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town, I knew I had to get you! Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. Oh, you know each other? Not at all, ma'am. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Oh, yes, I think I did. Ah, they must be the client she was talking about. Huh. I might have seen their faces somewhere before, some magazine or the television. I can't quite remember. But then again, most of our guests have likely ended up on the news. One way or another, I won't be surpri surprised if these two had to. Four people were popular, though they aren't just as loudly as the others, and in their simplicity, the couple stands out. The woman in particular is stunning enough to turn the heads of most people in my group, especially the men with wandering eyes. The guy standing beside her doesn't seem to mind the seem doesn't seem to mind the. And if I'm going to be a bit bolder with my assumptions, I'll say he's basking in the attention. Both of them, in fact, peace in a pod. Okay, I think they're brother and sister if it isn't for their public display of affection. Okay, they, yeah, they actually look like each other. The matching rings on their fingers just cement the fact that they are indeed a couple. Whatever. Couple or not, what's important is what we get this deal closed before the current owners can even think of cancelling the listing agreement. I just hope one of the people in my or Rose's group is brave enough and generous enough to buy this mansion. And so with papers in hand, I lead the way. When they aren't whispering among themselves or going ooh and ah over one thing or another to ask questions. From how the restoration process went to the history of the place, I answered them all more than happy to talk about the art pieces and architecture mostly. However, I'm careful not to mention anything about the urban legend. <laughs> not a good material for sales talk even if the entire population of Bloxburn knows about it. Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals. All of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing... colorful ones... Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. Ermengarde! The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Oh, I think Isabella is the only not Brit the person with not the British accent here. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total <coughs> waste of your time. Yep. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. It is splendid, ma'am, okay. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? She wants the money, though. Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've Della. got a few things I want changed before we move in. The rest of their conversation gets lost in the chatter of our other companions. I don't want to make any assumptions yet, but their sheer interest is enough to give me some sembla semblance of hope. Oh please, please, please let these guys be the one. Yeah, we need the money though. Our group reaches the kitchen. 
Much like the rest of the house, a great deal of effort has been put into retaining the room's classical appeal. The open heart at the end of the room in particular looks amazing, like the ones I only see in fairy tale books before. Yeah, it looks like it looks really good though. And mad props to the cleaning crew. Yeah, it really looks really good. It looks like a fairy tale stuff something from Cinderella or something. Seriously, if after overhearing hundreds of their complaints about the suit in the store staining the bricks and how much of a pain in their ass cleaning this will be, they'll still manage to pull this off. Huh, I'll try to talk in Isabella's tone, okay? Or make it look presentable at least. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, oh don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. This is the first time the guy in grace picks up Mr. Look right, my memory supplies from forms designed earlier. His sudden attentiveness catch me off guard since the start of the tour. Only his wife has shown any form of genuine interest in this place. But this time, something lights up in his eyes at the measure of this undercraft. What's so interesting about the basement? I really don't understand rich people sometimes. Right now, it's just give me the impression of a child who has just been... What he absolutely wants for Christmas. I've always found it cute when I see her, whenever I see children and act that way, my younger siblings especially. On a grown man. Oh my god. It's almost funny. Yes, sir. It could house around <coughs> 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Oh god, really? Truly? And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. Oh my god, this is really it's good It's a good though. place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Vineyard? You could Not start vineyard? Okay, I thought it's vineyard. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. <coughs> Oh, what the hell did I do? I, did I just save? Okay, I'll save again. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. There's a contemplative expression on Mr. Wright's face, but it doesn't say anything further. His wife, however, seems really pleased that he has stated, started to show interest if only a little. I smiled to myself. I may not completely understand how these people's mind People's mind work, but I sure as hell know how to spot a buyer with sincere interest. SCORE! I can't wait to tell Rose. The rest of the tour goes by without a hitch. After more than half an hour, we were able to cover almost every room in the ground floor and are heading to the parlor. Funny, the first time we surveyed the property, I kept complaining to Rose how big it is. Now I can't even bring myself to care no matter how much my feet hurt. Yeah, we need the money. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is just my exci excitement over a prospective sale. When we reach the parlor, however, an odd feeling washes over me. Oh god, the music changed though. It starts off as small goosebumps on my skin, a feeling of being washed inherently. Whispers in my ears and shadow dancing lurking in the corner of my vision. Dark silhouettes that are gone when I turn to look to see what it is. A chill that settled down my spine making me feel sick and I start to break into a cold sweat. I can't do this, I need to sit down for a moment. The old ladies in the group had been requesting for a break anyway. If I can just- Excuse me? Everyone? We- We will be taking a 15 minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. I let them sit while retreat to a quiet corner to, to recover. It's not what you think. Don't think about it. It's not what you think. I probably just got back as cold. Don't think about it. I'm left alone for a good while. The same words filling out of my lips in a silent prayer. Until a hand taps my Hello. shoulder. Hello, you there? Oh my God. Y yes, me. <coughs> oh, look at you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not yeah, it problem, really is. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella. Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? My brain completely stops. The sick feeling plaguing me is suddenly gone, replaced by utter bewilderment. Oh my god, they want the house. Is she being serious? She looks like me expectantly as I struggle to come up with an answer. Wait, ma'am, I... You see, but we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. 
We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... She stops me from speaking any further, putting a hand on my shoulder. For a moment with her tight smile, she looks as if she tasted a particular sour lemon. Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. Oh, God. And just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. Oh, the bird. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Perhaps I'm still not feeling well, but really, what's wrong with cats? More importantly, why is she talking about moving in already? Well, I'm more of a dog person. Okay. But you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon, and it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. What's an extra? I, we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. What would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Hey, <laughs> got him! I struggle at the wins when her nails dig into my shoulder. I can't help but send an imploring look at Miss Co Miss Macalo, who only gives me an apologetic smile and a shrug. Uh, uh, yeah. I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. She wastes no time taking the papers from my hand and shuffles through the bunch. Oh man, Rose is going to be so angry at me for letting her do Wonderful. that. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. It's Isabella! She said it many it's times. Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too. And what's this? A look of this of confusion and disgust is apparent on her face, turning towards her husband, even the shots in her Um, an interesting work of art. Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's the... Darling... Buttercup, art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... dreadful as the one art exhibit I was forced to attend. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled, oh but God, I'm sure hell? you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your taste. Nothing of oh this God. chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this form. Oh my God, what is this though? What do they mean? Rosie and I double-checked everything earlier. Are the papers I handed down enough? I want to ask what I did wrong. I don't want to mess this up. But in the way, man, I'm afraid that's exactly what will happen if I do interrupt That's good her. to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. Oh my god. A smile is back on her lips and she turns to me and hands me a strange piece I of paper. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... I can only stare down at the paper at the letter in my hands. The side screen color my grip and my breathing grows deeper. Dread quickly fills Isabella? my mind. Isabella? Isabella? You're looking pale. I don't even notice when Rose as well as the other group during the mansion joins us in the parlor. I want nothing more to say that no, I'm not, I'm not alright. I want to leave this place because I remember everything as clear as day. This letter and that woman in the attic, it's real. The letter? I, I'm sorry. Oh I my god, her know. face. She literally looks terrified though. Careless, I've been so careless. Okay. Should I even tell them? Hmm, should I tell Rose? Should I tell Rose? Oh no, she'll say that I'm crazy though. I think I sh should not show the letter. Or should I? Well, they saw it though. I blurted it out before I can think twice about what Rose, I'm going to say. We need to get out of 
those cast a nervousness at the people near us. Most are still engaged in the conversation, but those curious enough to turn their heads in the direction have been given her trade more skills than us now. Isabella, we've already had a conversation about- And I'm telling you that it's not! I saw something in there. It's not- It's not human at all. I thought it was just nothing, but- We don't even think she falls it back Look, I'm really getting worried about you. I know you want to see this open house through, but your condition is more important. Give me a few minutes to wrap things up here, and I'll drive you to the nearest hospital. No, oh, no. no! You don't understand! There yeah, no you don't understand, rose, though. No concussion at all! I'm fine, but this place isn't, and you're being stubborn about it! A hand lands on both our shoulders, pulling the two of this a distance now, closer. Now, ladies, what seems to be the problem here? Nothing, sir. I just had to clarify a few things with my colleague. Well, it certainly seems... intense. A smile fits the two of you better, in my opinion. Especially darling little Lily here. Gentle squeeze and incredible smile spreading on his mouth at the same it's time. It's Isabella, sir. Of course, of course. But my point still stands. And with two beautiful ladies here, I'm sure. And I'm sure little Lily here would certainly appreciate it if you remove your pretty hands from her, darling. The pressure on my shoulder lifts as soon as those words lips his wife's lips. When the skull on her face is like a splash of cold water on me. It's also impossible to miss the displeased frown on Miss McCallow's face. The realization that we might lose this soul because of my outburst dawns on me. Rose will be beyond pissed. I think I need to step out for a while. I'll be back. Bowing my head and mutter a quick apology and got your missed off to make quick exit. I've got trouble and Rose can be quiet, quite unforgiving of behavior like this. Isabella, wait! Must have been quite obvious in my face because her expression instantly shifts to something gentler, eyes softer, a frown smile spreading on I, her lips. I'm not angry. I'm yeah, you're not. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on, you didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And... Look. She hesitates complete her training up before shifting her gaze down to her hands. A small gesture to stall. Her fingers are fiddling with a piece of folded paper. It's that stupid letter again. My hands stiffen when she gives it back, but I take it nevertheless. More is an automatic response than any desire to have it back. I'll throw it away if I can. But I have this nagging feeling one way or another it will find its way back to me regardless of what I do about Rose, it. Rose, this is... You have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, yep. who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. Yeah, but I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big. I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... Oh my god, what? my mind Wait. stops. No, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. Oh my god. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere. I can see you and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over and I'm already feeling the stress. Yep. Please. Humor me just this once. Yep. She clasps her hand together in front of her, eyes pleading for understanding. And I do understand. To some extent, that doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Yep. Whether my at myself at the unlucky turn the situation has taken, or for her, I don't really know. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Okay. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. Okay, I'll step aside for now. You're upset. Yep. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Mm -hmm. Please, don't. 
I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob. <laughs> and I don't even know what that means. Noob. Oh my god. You got Jack. <laughs> At the memory, she dobs into helpless giggles, which I also join in, earning us strange looks from the guests milling about the door. Talking and laughing like this, it's easy to forget any mishaps that happen. Little things you learn to appreciate, so, I guess. Are we good? Yes, we are good. I'm still not okay with it, but Rose has a point. It's better for me to step out of this one for now. I won't now. be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose. You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. It's not that bad. <laughs> it hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, alright? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. The minor, extremely I'm minor bump. To call someone who'll fetch you, okay? Okay, mom. She's gone before I can voice one word of complaint. Okay, so guys, that's it for this episode of, or I mean, this part of the letter. Um, Rose, uh, I mean, Isabella did a lot of shit today. I think it's a wrong decision to so to show her the letter, so I stepped out a bit for Isabella just stepped out a bit for this project. So let's see what will happen in the next episodes. Um thanks thank you guys for watching. This is Dash dashing out. <laughs>